look at what JFK Airport is sending out. Pictures of a luxury animal terminal called ARC. Everybody in the studio is walking towards the screens just to take a look at these pictures. This new terminal, it's going to soon serve approximately 70,000 animals that come through the airport every single year. And we're not just talking dogs and cats. We are talking goats, pigs, cattle, all of it will be welcome. One big, huge animal keg party. The price tag for this pet resort, $48 million. <laughs> so JFK started construction on the project, and it's slated to be completed by next year. Chief Veterinary Officer Karen Halligan joins me now via Skype. Karen, this is really incredible. My dog is already booking flights, and uh, I'm a little upset about it because it's going to cost me a lot of money. But let me read you a Facebook comment from William Gilliard. He says, what a waste of money. Is it a waste of money, Karen? No. You know what? Some animals are service animals. For, for example, my mother, she can't go anywhere without her dog or she has panic attacks. Mm -hmm. um, you know, these livestock animals are transported sometimes, um, you know, because they need their genes. There's a lot of other reasons why animals need to travel. So you can't sit there and say this is a waste of money. It's not. And in fact, Hundreds of animals actually die every year and get lost uh, flying. So, I mean, this is extreme, but I think it's needed. Okay, but we did see a pool in that picture, and Camille A. Shaw wrote, are you serious? Why do dogs need a pool at the airport? I mean, uh, she kind of has a point. Why do they need a pool? I mean, they have a check-in okay. counter, it seems. So I'll tell you why, because... Uh, when they're traveling, they're crated. Mm -hmm. So where you know where where are you going to run them and exercise them? Swimming them is one of the easiest ways to just burn off those calories, and especially for like large animals, and horses and stuff. So a lot of it is therapeutic. It's really not you know just to have them be anthropomorphized that they're like us. Um, I think you have to be careful uh, in you know like slamming it until right. you kind of look fine. Well, I mean, why would they put up that much money anyway? Because there were so many people that were outraged that their pets, like I said, can you imagine? Right. They're looking for a solution because so many pets are actually coming through. This is actually USDA approved. It's a 24-hour uh, quarantine yes. facility for other animals, like I said, besides dogs, horses, uh, birds, livestock. Is there any downside? I mean, what about the spread of, a, of disease? Well, hey, that's a very good point, but uh, they have veterinarians there. They are going to be on it, so they're going to minimize any of that. And, in fact, it'll be better. Can you imagine the way they're traveling them now? So, if anything, this is going to help prevent infectious zoonotic diseases that could come into the United States. Great. Karen Halligan from the Lucy Pet Foundation, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.